everyone welcome back to makeup and fashion diaries in today's look is a fourth look i'm creating and uh, oh my god i'm super excited for this look because i'm wearing my amazon jewelry it looks so good so gorgeous oh my god it looks totally high-end but it's not this is the bracelet and then this is the set i got it has the matching earrings and oh my god they are looking so so stunning so today's look i wanted to create something super colorful as you can see my suit has all the shades of blues and purples and greens and also uh, my picture which i was inspired by was this it has all the colors of purples orange and green so i decided to go with this purple eyeshadow look and this is how it came up i'm just loving it and super excited for you guys to recreate this so if you guys do recreate do let me know on instagram and yeah i hope you guys are enjoying my looks so far thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the next one that will be uploaded tomorrow that will be my look number five i believe so if you guys want to learn how to achieve this look then keep on watching hi everyone so Today I'm shooting another Navratri look and uh, I'm just gonna start right away. So I'm be I will be using this Derma Fake Moisturizer on my face. So I'm gonna take a little bit, just massage it to my skin. So firstly I'm gonna go and prime my eyes and for that I will be using this Flower Beauty Concealer. This is in the shade M34 Medium Honey. I'm just gonna apply this onto my eyelids. And then with the help of a beauty spot, I'm just gonna spread this on my lids. Firstly I'm gonna be taking this white shade right here and just uh, apply this onto my eyelids so they are nicely set because I've just applied the concealer. Tighten my eyelids a little bit. Okay, so first shade I'm going to be taking this shade right here, and I will be using that for my crease just to start the eye look. I decided to go in with the brown shade. So once that's done, I will be taking my Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette, and I'm going to be picking up this orangey shade right here. This is called Blazing. So I'm going to dip my brush, and I will be using the same brush I used to apply my crease shade. So I'm not changing the brush so this is how it's gonna look and I'll just run this in my crease again the same places I applied my transition shade Okay, now I'm going to grab my Huda Beauty Obsessions palette and from this palette I will be taking this orangey shade once again and with a small blending brush I will just take this brush, uh, take this shade and run this all over my lid and also in my crease. So I'm also thinking to use this purple shade uh, on my lids and then I'm going to be taking this revolution palette and uh, I will probably use this green shade right here for my uh, inner corners. So now I'm going to wet a brush and dip my brush in that purple shade and now I'm going to just apply this onto my lids. You can use any purple shade you have. So with this Huda palette, I think you have to wet your brush otherwise the color payoff is not that great. So I just keep dipping my brush into the eye shade and whenever it's needed, I'll just wet my brush. And also these colors work best when you apply with your finger. So I think I'm going to and do that as well so now I'm gonna take my finger and just dab on my eyes that's there I'm gonna again go in with my Huda palette and uh, I'm gonna be grabbing this shade right here this is called um, amber 
So now I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush and I just I'm gonna take this shade right here. Tap off the excess and I'll just apply this shade onto my outer wing. These looks are whatever I'm doing, they are super simple. You just gotta have right brushes and right shades. You can totally achieve this look. There's also a shade here, it's a really pretty orange shade. So I'm thinking to take that as well and run it in my crease just to see how pigmented that is. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this green shade right here and cover my brush really nicely. So I'm gonna be applying this onto my tear ducts. Let's see how it looks. Nice. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip my brush again in this purple shade and reapply my lid shade. So I'm also thinking to apply this same purple shade onto my lower lash line but before that I'm going to go in with this orange shade and run this onto my lower lash line. And now I'm going to grab my purple shade. Okay so now my eyes are done so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean the fallout. Okay, so I'm thinking to use this color right here. This is again a green, but this is, a, so this is an aqua color. This is called aqua lung and this is how it looks. So I'm just gonna run this onto my waterline. I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner. So I hope that my liner comes out to be really thin because I don't want to hide this uh, beautiful work I did. So now I'm going to quickly curl my eyelashes. And coat them nicely with a mascara. So I'm using Lash Sensational. I'm going to quickly fill in my brows. And for that, again, I will be using this Catrice palette. And uh, there's this very dark brown shade. I will be using this to fill in my brow. So now with the help of a spoolie, I'm just gonna run this onto my brow. And I'm sorry if you can hear some noises. There's some work going on. So, and also today I'm shooting at a different place in my room. And I have not made my brows since so many days. I don't know how many days it's been. I just pluck them rarely. So that's about my brows. And I'm also thinking to 
Don't do I would a little bit and now we're gonna do the face and for that I'm gonna prime my face use the Smashbox photo finish primer uh, so I'm gonna apply this onto my t-zone like so and whatever is left I'll just rub it onto my face I will be using this foundation. This is by Flower Beauty. This foundation is really light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix my dark foundation. This is by the Body Shop. Uh, so as you can see, it's pretty light. So two pumps of this and one or half maybe a pump of this. And I'm gonna mix this really nicely to make my shade. So now I think it's my shade. I'm just gonna spread this on my face. So now I'm gonna take this and just blend this foundation in my skin uh, but the coverage is not that high uh, on camera it looks it is but actually in person it's not but I like how it looks so now I'm gonna go ahead and conceal. So for my concealer, I will be using the Flower Beauty concealer and I'm just gonna conceal my usual areas. So. A little bit on my nose, my forehead, and this is my problem area. I have so much of darkness in this area. So now I'm gonna again take my beauty blender and blend everything together. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and use this Revolution London Concealer. This is in the shade E14 and uh, I will use this concealer to contour my jawline and also my nose. So this is a very dark shade as you can see but uh, this concealer dries really fast so I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> so this concealer dries really fast so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do one part, blend it and then move to the other one. So I'm just going to put like three dots and with the help of a brush I'll just blend it and now I'm gonna put three dots here and blend it and also I'll do a little bit of my chin and a little bit of my jaw So with this concealer you have to be really quick otherwise it dries really fast. And again with the help of a sponge I'll just make sure everything is nicely blended. Okay, so once again I'm going to take this and put this right here and here for a little bit of forehead contouring also now quickly I will just bake my eyes because they have started creasing and for that I will be using my Coty Aspen loose powder so I'm going to dip my brush in the powder and just make sure if, before setting the eyes I will make sure that there are no harsh lines Also a little bit here. here. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of the nose contouring. Mm -hmm. 
And now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my skin. Uh, so I'm using this Catrice uh, Sun Glow Matte Bronzing Powder. And uh, obviously you can see it's broken but it's really good. And I'm gonna be using this tapered brush right here and I'm gonna coat my brush really nicely and just quickly bronze up my skin. Don't forget your forehead. Now I will take a smaller brush for my nose and dip that in the bronzing shade and again contour my nose. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my um, lower lash line again. So for that I'm taking a brush and just going over my lower lash line. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and do my blush and for that I'm using these two. So this is a very orangey color, this is by Miss Care. It's a very inaffordable brush, uh, this is in the number 4 and then I'm also using this Catrice uh, Matte Touch Blush. This is in the shade, actually I don't know this shade. Yeah, so this is in the shade 10 Peach Me Up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these two shades and put them on my cheeks. And for my highlighter today, I will be taking this Fenty Beauty highlighter. So for that, I will be taking these two shades right here and just apply this onto the usual areas I highlight. A little bit on my cupid robe. I'll just put this right here on my nose. So now I'm going to quickly pop my eyelashes. I just applied the glue and waited for like 30 seconds and now they're ready to be used. Okay, so for my lipstick today, I will be using this shade called Love Light 14 from Urban Decay and uh, I'll just apply this. It's a pretty orange color, so I'm just going to apply a little bit and, and then with the help of my finger, I'll just blend it. So now also I'm going to top my lipstick with this uh, gorgeous lip gloss. This is by L'Oreal and this is in the shade 502 Extreme Resist uh, Hold Me Close. I just love this lip gloss it's really nice and now to complete the look i will be wearing my jewelry which i got from amazon i'm super excited to try this earrings are so cute i just love them so i'll just put all my accessories and my suit and come right back <laughs> 